Hi everyone, so isn't it just awesome to know that one of the first custom rounds that we've got for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini are Cyanogen Mod and the Carbon AOSP. Now both of these ROMs are highly customizable, they are known for their high customization and for their smooth performance. So just recently Prox user from AZ Developers Forums has began porting this ROM for device. Unfortunately for 3G and Duos users this for now is only available for the LTE users. This custom ROM is based off Prox users modified CM 10.2 kernel and device sources. This ROM is also compiled from the carbon depth sources with Cyanogen mode settings and kernel. So you might find this ROM quite similar to Cyanogen mode but it has uh, totally different features. It still has the stock Android look and I forgot to mention this is based off Android 4.3 and according to the developer most things appear to be working. We're gonna take a look at these things in just a bit once we install the ROM. Okay, the first procedure as usual is to power off your phone, but before that, download the ROMs without your SD card and the GApps without your SD card. Also, it is, uh, it is required to have a rooted phone and cog motor recovery on it. Okay, so let's power off the phone. So once the phone is powered off, hold the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. You should be in quack of mode recovery. Now to install this ROM you basically need to do the absolutely same steps that you used for the Sino Gem Mod ROM. So let's start off first by wiping data. So choose wipe data factory reset. Then choose yes to confirm. Now after that select wipe cache partition. Once again choose yes when asked to confirm. This will take less time than wiping data. There we go. Now once this is done, head into install zip which is the second option. Then select the last option, choose zip from external SD card. And from here basically choose the Carbon JB unofficial zip file. Then select yes. Now wait for the installation to be complete. And there we go, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Okay, now let's take a quick look at what the ROM has. So just choose the boot system now. We're then gonna install GApp. And here we are. The phone has booted up. So yeah, we started off with a live wallpaper. So pretty much the same looking as Sano Gemma from the first look here as you can see. Now let us install the G apps. Now once again boot into recovery mode. And just do the same procedure but this time do not wipe data. Just head into install zip. Then choose it from external SD card. From here simply select the G apps. And choose just to confirm. There we go. And install from SD card complete as you can see. Now once again press back and choose reboot system now. And okay, so do not waste time, I'll be back once the phone has started up. And there we go, we are at the walk screen. So let's unlock this. Okay, so everything seems to be looking nice. Now as you can see this doesn't have the same gesture that we have on the Sun Gem Mod ROM. As you can see if you pull with one finger or on the left side you would see the notification screen. But by default whatever you pull and it doesn't matter if you are pulling with one finger or two you just get the uh, toggle buttons here. So as you can see just like Sun Gem Mod 10 battery smooth. The transitions are nice and everything is loading up quite fast. And as you can see here it has quite a few different settings here and you can notice this little blue circle here this is called Halo or I'm not sure how it's actually pronounced I believe Halo or Halo or whatever. It acts kind of like an on-screen shortcut to have it constantly on your screen showing up. So yeah I'm not really going to go into detail about how to set up all of these features and things here we're going to have to take a quick look. So let's get into carbon fibers. So here we've got animations, yeah, here it is Halo. 
let's take a look at the interface so as you can see read this read these options out here for yourself it shows you some things then we're gonna take a look at the walk screen settings so here is what we have, have here you can also enable camera widget and so on so we have quite a lot of options like I said another customizable ROM with lots of customization features and you can also modify the power menu from here as you can see you can also add a shortcut to torch now this one I actually find useful because sometimes you quickly need to enable the torch and you can easily enable it from here let's take a look at the ribbons for the walk screen for the notification quick settings as you can see all these things here and you've got the status bar so you can change the icon types you can change the battery color the circle icon style whether it is a circle a battery or whatever as you can see and device tunables but this one doesn't seem to work in this version you've also got dark carbon which darkens up the theme a bit as you can see so it stops feeling transparent like but it becomes black then you've got launcher so yeah this is using the synergy mode launcher as you can see in here we've then got performance here let's take a look at this proceed with caution now obviously if you tweak this you might damage your phone so just be careful how you change the frequencies and what you do then we've got teams let's take a look nope the, this ROM comes with just one team here we've got super user so yeah, this this is obviously rooted and uh, here we've got app privacy like I said I can't go into detail you're gonna check this out for yourself I'm just giving you a quick look and we've got the about phone tab running Android 4.3 says carbon ROM and I would also like to point out that the Wi-Fi is also working unfortunately I don't have a SIM card that is compatible with this phone at the moment so I cannot really test the 3G capabilities the 4G and so on such as making calls texting and other stuff but at least it has connection you can have internet on this now let's take a look at if the camera is working now these are one of the main features which obviously you need to have working it just asks you to remember folder locations okay but yeah the camera is working as you can see so that's great and that's about it everyone just like Sino Gem Mod 10 this ROM feels smooth as butter and as you can see this is very clean it has a lot of customization features and it also has the CRT or screen off animation as you can see so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys you can download this ROM from the link in the video description once again thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time goodbye